Introducing first from Toronto, Canada, Gail Kim. We saw Gail complaining with knockouts official Taryn Terrell over the, the finish of her of the gauntlet match at Genesis. We take a look back at it again, a closer look. Yeah, we heard the beat. This was the gauntlet match, the way it came down, the Velvet Sky and Gail Kim. And there you see his Velvet went for the cover. The leg of Gail Kim, it broke the flame of the rope. Tara Terrell ruled that Velvet Sky got the win in number one contendership, but then Brooke Hogan overruled that. And as a result, we have the return match tonight. Yep, return match. These were the last two knockouts remaining in that gauntlet matchup. Number one contender to be decided here on and Impact Wrestling Live. From the Big Apple, Elvis Sky. Well, you will recall that when Velvet Sky returned to Impact Wrestling in the month of December, she had been away for some six months, and she vowed that she was going to do it again just like she did at Bound for Glory 2011 in Philadelphia when she won the title. She vowed that she will become knockout champion once again. Well, Taz had to uh, fly the coop, so to speak. So, you know. <laughs> Don't look at me. Not going to infringe on Taz's territory. Absolutely not. Her entrance is not quite the same without Taz, but number one contenders action here. Velvet Sky gonna have to do it all over again. The two final knockouts in that gauntlet matchup. What a performance it was by Gail Kim, the first ever knockouts champ. She looked like she was gonna run the table until she ran into Velvet Sky. Yeah, knocked off all the competitors until it came down to the final entrance. Velvet Sky, Velvet gets the win, but it's overturned, overruled. And the executive in charge of the knockouts, Brooke Hogan, rules that the return match is here right now. This now becomes the number one contenders match. We're going to see who gets the title shot against Tara. Going to be interesting to see who will get a shot upcoming at Tara as fans. We remind you that TNA's Lockdown Live pay-per-view event is coming to the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Texas. Going to be Texas size for all the details on tickets, travel packages, VIP packages. Go to shoptna.com and of course that huge fan interaction. What a weekend it's going to be, Mike. Can't wait till we get to the Lone Star State. Yeah, we're coming there for Lockdown in the month of March. Todd, how about the way that Sting spoke from his heart, pleading with Hulk Hogan, asking Hulk to walk his daughter, Brooke Hogan, down the aisle. And then the response of Hulk Hogan, I always do the right thing. And what does that mean? I don't know. Some shades of gray there that Sting pleading, hey, do the right thing for you. Do the right thing for your daughter as well as all the faithful here in the impact zone pleading for the Hulkster to walk Brooke down the aisle, but as you mentioned, him saying, I always do the right thing. We will see what exactly that means later on. As both veteran knockouts here, both former knockouts champion, not, not rushing into this one, not wanting to make a mistake early. Gail Kim, a two-time knockout champion with the early advantage here. And maybe she's got inside the head of Taryn Terrell, the knockouts referee, the way that she was attempting to intimidate Taryn both earlier today as we saw back in the locker room area as well as in the ring just moments ago. Fireman's carry by Kim, but out the back door goes Velvet Sky for the roll-up, looking for the pin. And this is a good way to counter Gail Kim because Gail is just so vicious with the strikes, as we see right there, just winds up with the kick going downstairs. And again, we have to mention, guys, speaking of late kicks like that, Right after Impact tonight, the debut of Bellator MMA Live. Two championship fights. Two world championship matches. Cannot wait. Big close line there by Kale Kim. Yep, Michael Chandler putting the lightweight title on the line against judo practitioner, as you mentioned, Rick Hahn. And also Pat Curran defends the featherweight title against Patricio Pitbull. That coming up right after Impact Wrestling Live as this match for the number one contender for the knockouts title continues. Big reverse neck breaker there by Gail Kim looking to put her away. Here's the cover, only a count of two. Yeah, real interested in that featherweight world championship match. Pat Curran's been 
so successful in tournaments. Tonight, he puts the title on the line against the Brazilian Pitbull. What a tough customer, what a tough challenger he is going to be. And also keep in mind that King Mo, unrivaled, that's going to air tonight after Bellator on Spike. King Mo, the two sports star, not just MMA, but also training for professional wrestling here at Impact Wrestling. Absolutely. Snap suplex there by Velvet Sky now into the cover. They're going to take an in-depth look at the training for both sports of King Mo. He's got a big fight coming up as well, but tonight it's all about the lightweight title, featherweight title, and the return of Babalu. Gail Kim again just loves to enforce her will in the ring. She loves to dictate the pace. One of the most dominant knockouts in history, even maybe perhaps only by the current knockouts champion, Tara, in that department. Well, you're right, one of the most experienced as well as she goes here for the cover with the knee right across the throat of Velvet Sky, quickly pointing that out to our knockout referee, Taryn Terrell. She said, what, she's been here like six months? Yeah, really trying to intimidate her, as you mentioned, Mike, saying you better call this thing down the middle. Look at this, the torque of the head scissors by Gail Kim just twisting her body. Look at the way that she is bending the body of Velvet Sky backwards. There's so much pressure on the net. Total focus of the offense of Gail Kim on the upper body, the head of Velvet Sky. And you have to admit, it's been very successful to this point in the match. Velvet Sky, as you mentioned, saying that 2013 is going to be her year. Here she gets back the knockouts title. She'll be on her way if she gets a win in this number one contenders match. Whoa. Gail Kim, what a drop kick. Big, impactful move by Gail Kim. The full extension of the legs powered right into the face of Velvet Sky. You saw the look on the face of Gail. The uh -oh. level of confidence going right up. Eat defeat. Caught her with it. Into the cover now. Hooking the leg. Oh, and look out here, Mike. Heads up. Called by the official. Knockout ref, Taryn Terrell, seeing there that it was Velvet Sky who broke the plane of the ropes, able to extend the leg out before the three count as Velvet gets right in Taryn's face again. Very similar situation to what we saw Sunday at Genesis, except the rules reversed. Again, just trying to oh, bully the official, just push her into the corner. Speaking of bullying, Bulldog there by Velvet Sky, who is really cranking up the intensity meter here with a series of clotheslines and a beautiful head scissors takedown. Yeah, complexion of this match quickly turns in favor of Velvet Sky. Drives her face first into the mat there, almost a variation of her in your face. Boot to the midsection, going for the double underhook, the butterfly lock in your face. between tonight here live on Impact Wrestling and this past Sunday at Genesis. And as a result of that win, it's now official. Velvet Sky is the number one contender. Velvet Sky is going to move on to gain the knockout title shot against Tara. All right, Mike, we take a look back at the action here. The cover by Gail Kim. And it was Velvet that got her foot, as you mentioned, broke the plane there of the ropes. And then Velvet Sky had her set up. Now the double arm powers her straight down, and that was the difference. Velvet hooks the far leg, hooks the near leg, gets the three count, and she moves into the title shot. Gail Kim came into this matchup after Genesis with a grunt. Velvet Sky saying, in your face.